Hi folks, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain Adventure. Something a little bit different today. Uh, the kind people at Nightcat kindly sent me another bit of kit. You can see it swinging in the background here. This is the Nightcat 3-in-1 hammock tent. Uh, it's multifunctional this thing and um, it didn't take long at all to set it up. This is the first time that I've pitched it. It looks really, really good. So I'm going to just show you the, the basics of how to get it up. I'll show you some of the features, some of the benefits of the product as well and show you the three different kind of configurations that you can have with it as well. Uh, so no messing about, before the weather starts to come in, I'm in the heart of Northumberland here. I'll show you what this is all about. So guys, when you get the pack, uh, it comes equipped with basically everything. You get a very good user's manual which explains exactly how to build uh, the, uh, the hammock itself. You get the hammock, you get two incredibly strong daisy chains as well which you wrap around the trees and they've got very strong clasps on, the, on them as well. Now they have to be pretty strong um, to carry the average adult. In actual fact this will take up to 300 kilograms which I think is about 47 stone if, uh, if my maths is right. So it's very very strong. Now I've had it up and I've been in it. It's spacious, it's comfy, there's no creaking. Um, and uh, because of some another particular feature, it's actually very stable as well. Um, you also get two aluminium pegs here as well. You actually get two bungee cords that come with it, which actually gives it that stability as well. Uh, and then, of course, attached to the main hammock itself, you also get a separate fly sheet. The fly sheet itself um, is 4,000 static head units, um, and that is waterproof. The fly sheet cocoons right the way around the whole of the hammock and you get some nice little press duds as well so it's fully enclosed. You've got a single zip and it's very very easy to put up. Uh, so much so it probably took me about seven minutes, eight minutes max and that was the first time that I've put it up. So I'm really, first impressions, very very good. I'm impressed with this bit of kit so far. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm not going to go through every little last detail, but I'm going to show you basically how it uh, attaches to two trees. The two trees, as you see here, they need to be around about three to four metres apart. Um, and uh, I'll show you exactly how I've got it set up. So guys, as you can see, these are the daisy chains as they're known. This is very, very strong strapping. And quite literally, you just wrap it around the tree, back on in itself, and one end goes through the other end to create that kind of loop there it's incredibly strong and then as you follow it all the way along you can see as well that in actual fact it's got loads of different settings which you can clasp things to that's why it's called a daisy chain and then you've got the actual main buckle itself now that is uh, very very strong uh, as well and very easy to use it looks like it's really good quality gear um, you might also see as well and this is purposeful that there's uh, a donkey's tail you've got the the rest of this coming down here and the purpose of that is if there's any rain that comes down here because it's at an angle it'll hit this donkey's tail and run off so that's your drip runoff cord and that's meant to be like that but this whole bit of kit here where this attaches to the actual hammock, the, the material is very, very good. It's very, very strong. So guys, as you can see, once you've got it strapped to the, both the trees, that's the first con configuration, which is purely just the hammock itself. Now, if it's a beautiful day or it's, you know, you're just doing a bit of a, uh, a day camp, not necessarily an overnighter, you know, something like this is absolutely great for just lounging around in the woods. If you're coming down to make a cuppa or have a bit of bait or whatever, um, it's very, very strong. Um, I'll, I'll show you how it works. Uh, what I've what I've learned with this as well, you must have the um, have the hammock quite high up the tree because it does sag, and that's not just because I'm 16, Clem. <laughs> well, there we go. That's pretty good testimony. 16, Clem, no problem. That's a strong bit of kit. So once you've got it into the first configuration. Um, and you want them to start to turn it in with a, you know, with a, there's a built-in fly net that comes with it. You get the couple of poles as well, so I'll show you how to put those up and get it into the second configuration, which is the hammock with the fly net. 
so we're going to do that now. So we get um, you get two lots of these aluminium poles, and it's just the usual um, port, tent pole setup as you would expect. And the idea is you got two of these that go at either end to create an arch. So I'll show you just how to do that now. So what you see is on the bottom of the hammock itself, you've got this little eyelet, uh, and that is to put the um, the bottom of the pole fits into that to hold it into place but before you do that you must feed it through the netting which is here which goes up over the top so we'll do that now so as you can see once it's gone through you've created yourself a nice hoop uh, which alludes itself to its uh, to its third and final um, configuration as well we'll come on to that in just a wee while but that's the pole in and as you can see it creates this nice hoop uh, and in actual fact it also gives you a good bit of distance there between the inner and the fly sheet as well so it shouldn't really suffer from condensation I'll do it on the same side on the other side right guys there we go the other sides in now as you can see the whole um, hammock has now tilted and this is what it does under its own weight instead of being upright the hoops actually bring it round hence the reason why you've got two aluminium pegs and you get two bungee cords as well on opposite diagonal ends you attach the bungee cords and that gives it its added stability so it's as easy as that now the whole hammock is completely stable you can get in and out of this now um, and it doesn't swing around or anything like that uh, the actual mesh itself is really good tight bug mesh um, it probably won't stop midges but every other flying bug i think it's going to do the business uh, the actual zips as well they're not ykk zips but they are very very good quality zips uh, they don't snag at all which is one of my main bugbears with things like this um, you've got the one entry point and you have the full length of it to get in and out of which is absolutely spot on and in actual fact you might think with it being a cocoon that it's not quite as spacious as maybe what you get in a tent do you know what it's absolutely unreal not only the width of it but also the height that it affords as well so I'm going to jump inside now and I'll show you what it's like from the inside guys I've just switched to my phone because it's just a little bit easier to show you inside here hope the quality's uh, alright so as you can see I'm full stretch here uh, I'm six foot and um, the height that we've got here between you know my head and the top here there's absolutely bags of room so there we go absolutely bags of room now my head's not quite at the top and you can see there's loads of room down there as well now if I give you a bit of an idea what's that foot and a half two foot maybe absolutely ideal so there is absolutely bags of space the zipper is just here as well so well, that's absolutely spot on and um, there is also a lantern hanging point as well which is really really excellent do you know what even if you feel a little bit claustrophobic usually in kind of bivvies and things like that you don't feel like that and yet I know it's open topped at the minute but even with a fly sheet on because you've got loads of space it's absolutely magic it really is it's a nice place to be and you know what just in this first configuration you know, looking at, up at the tree canopy, protected from the insects and having loads of room. This is a real good bit of kit. The other thing that I would say as well is, you don't have to be too gentle getting in and out of this. I'm a bit of a bull in a china shop. Um, you don't need to nanny it at all. It's strong, it's tensile, and it'll hold your weight, definitely. Right, I'm going to jump out and uh, we'll stick the fly sheet on now as well so I can show you that. So as you've seen there, fling the fly sheet over, gently put it into place, make sure that you're matching up the door to the door. Uh, the Nightcat logo is a nice small logo as well now, uh, which is great, you don't feel like you're sleeping with some massive anime character, which is great. And once it's in place, um, you attach that to both strapping points either side. There are also some press studs as well, so I'll show you some of these, and you can pull it really taut. 
Uh, now this is 4000 static head, completely waterproof, um, windproof, you name it, it's really good. I'm very, very impressed uh, with the actual quality of this as well. The storm flaps are good, and there is very good Velcro either side there as well. So we'll, um, I'll get it all perfect now and get it all nicely, nicely pitched out. There we go, easy as that, it takes two minutes. This is very, very simple to set up. In actual fact, not once have I looked at the instruction manual, it's quite intuitive. Um, you don't need to know nuts, that's the other thing as well. You don't need to know how to tie Siberian hitches, you know, or truckers hitches or any of the other ones. You don't need to start messing on with any ridge lines. Everything's all with this kit, it's ready to go, absolutely spot on. So when you're doing it, um, it's, uh, when you're putting it up, it's important when you get to uh, when you get to the ends here. There's a little tie where you can do that. There's also press studs underneath as well, which really does cocoon it all in underneath. So that's going to be wind tight and water tight as well. When you're coming to put the fly on, make sure that it goes the eyelet goes under like that as well and that holds on all four and that holds it nicely into place and then of course all you've got to do is make sure that the zips uh, the doors line up on the inner and the outer and then you've got full access to it it's a really really comfortable position as, to be in as well there we go Right, that's us completely cocooned in here now with a fly on and what's quite nice about it, it actually darkens it down a little bit as well so you know from a, a nighttime point of view a what i've noticed straight away is it's mega warm secondly it's quite dark as well so that is going to promote uh, a better sleep without a doubt um one of the things i've had a few people ask us about is do you think it's big enough to put your gear in as well because of course you're not just turning up somewhere with just a hammock you've got your pack you've got your cook system you've got your sleep system and all the rest of it uh yes is the answer definitely there's bags of room the pack could go down the front down the leg end or it could come uh, just up the business end here you could use it as a pillar just up at the top or even at the side of you there's probably three foot width here which is absolutely spot on and of course you've got this height uh, so it is not claustrophobic at all I really like the two lantern hanging points, as I've mentioned. These are really, really useful. And also, you do have a pocket up here as well. It's not the biggest pocket in the world, but it'll be ideal so you can put your, you know, your, your keys, maybe your phone, your power bank, whatever, so that it's not sliding around inside the hammock itself. Um, this is really good. I'm really genuinely impressed with this. Now, like I said on the last video as well, just because I got sent this doesn't mean I'm going to fluff it up or say anything that's not true about it. If I thought this was crap, I would be telling you straight away. Uh, really, really good. I'm genuinely impressed with this. And uh, I think you would have a really comfortable night. Uh, anyway, I'll put it to the test over the course of the next few weeks, few months. And uh, I'll do a bit of a winter uh, hammock um, camp in it. And we'll just see exactly how it performs. I want to get it in the wind. I want to get it in the heavy rain as well. So we'll come back to that. But this is just to show you the basics of the actual hammock itself. If I can do it, anybody can do it. This is dead simple and it's mega comfy. Do you know what? You can actually almost get a completely flat uh, sleeping position is here as well. Now, I'm a side sleeper. Now, generally speaking, that would probably cause problems. But this, once you've got it strung out the way I have done here, nice and easy, this is going to afford you a really good night's sleep. Yeah, good get a kit. Good bit of kit. Good work, night cat. Uh, do bear in mind with this um, hammock as well there is the third position which is essentially exactly as it is in the hammock position with the fly net and the fly sheet itself the whole thing can just be laid flat on the ground 
and used as a hoop bivy as well. Uh, now I haven't got any flat ground here. There's loads of twigs and lo loads of all kinds. So I didn't really want to set it up here in the woodland. Uh, but I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it's in that final configuration as a hoop bivy as well. Uh, and uh, you know it'll be as comfortable and as warm and as spacious as it is while it's in its hammock position as well. Crack a medicate. Well there it is. I think that's pretty much all that needs to be said about it. Uh, I'm really impressed. I know I've said that a few times, but genuinely, that's a good bit of kit. Uh, it weighs, I think it's 2.1, no, 1.8 kilograms it is. So it's not even as if it's mega heavy, and it doesn't um, it doesn't take up too much room in your pack neither, which is obviously a major contributing factor. So all in all, if I was to mark this out of 10, honestly, taking all things into consideration, including the price, which I think is about £109 via Amazon. I think it's a similar price via the Nightcap website. I'll put the links in the description. I think I'm going to give that an honest and decent 8 out of 10. I think the only thing that would make it better is a different colour, maybe. I think the camo one looks really, really good. That's a very, very minor point. In actual fact, that green is, is good. Very, very good. And I'm yet to see what it's like in uh, in bad weather, in heavy rain, although the hydrostatic head should be good for that. And what it's like in wind as well. Um, the bungees are all good and well in this. It's not exactly windy, but if it is windy, I'm wondering if you would probably get quite a bit of swing on it as well. The king of swing. Uh, but otherwise, I solid 8 out of 10. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to have myself a cup of tea. I brought the firebox with us. I'm going to enjoy a few hours here in the woodland. Just uh, soaking up the beautiful autumn colours here. Uh, I've got the drone as well. I'm going to have a bit fly around with the drone. Cup of tea. And uh, I'm just going to spend a bit of time here. Um, the next uh, the next video, um, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i had a lot of people messages on Instagram. If you're not already a follower, do do check it out on, on Instagram. I tend to put more content on there as well. Photographs, videos, reels and things like that. Um, so I've had quite a few people message on Instagram saying um, they would quite like to see the OEX Bobcat 1. Uh, so... Um, I'll answer those questions as well. So the next video, I'll do a quick review on the Bobcat. That's an interesting bit of quick kit as well. Uh, I bought that one myself. So we'll do that next time, folks. And then we'll get normal service. We'll resume. We'll get back to the adventures. We'll get up the mountains. We'll get some wild camps done as well. So until next time, folks, you know the drill. Get off Facebook and social media. Forget about the news. Forget about radio. Come out and enjoy a bit of prescription nature. So on that note, folks, we'll see you on the next Yonah Mountain Adventure.